question for you. Is the acceptance criteria the same as the business rule? What do you think about that, right? Come on in, come on in, come on in, everybody. Today we're talking again about Agile and we're exploring some concepts in Agile. And today's topic is the business rule versus the acceptance criteria. We're gonna be diving into those two topics, those two themes today, actually. So is the business rule the same as the acceptance criteria? Well, first of all, what exactly is a business rule and what is an acceptance criteria? So, you know, I've done several videos on this now. If you want to check out my channel, you can check out uh, just all the videos I've done on Agile. I also have um, free courses on my website. Go to carlis.com, go to free courses. I have a course up there on Agile, and that's a compilation of my videos here on YouTube, but they're ordered for you already. So you don't have to be here trying to jump around, figuring out which video to watch next. I put it all together for you and I've given you the full breadth of the teaching on Agile. And this video is going to be important for you as well because it's going to give you more about how to think around acceptance criteria, which is an important part of your user stories, which is also important for Agile, right? So your acceptance criteria is the conditions that are going to determine whether or not the story is complete and if the user will accept it. So it's almost like you're, you're testing conditions. It's all of the things that would make the user story done. It's a part of your definition of done, but it's not completely, you know, all of definition of done. Definition of done um, includes other things to do with workflow, such as, you know, who looks at the story next, you know, when can you actually mark the story as done, all that stuff. Your acceptance criteria is, is pivotal. It's very, very important for your user story. It represents the requirements. You know, it represents the scope of that user story. And these incremental small acceptance criteria, you know, over many user stories form the scope of the entire feature or project or whatever it is that you're working on. So that's what acceptance criteria is. I really hope that is clear. It's just a list of conditions. Um, that provides a value to the user that they can accept the story and can find value in it, right? Your business rule, on the other hand, is the structure, it's the constraints that a business operates under, right? It's just how they do business. It's This is their business format. This is their structure. This is the constraints that, that they abide by. It's outside of just an acceptance criteria because acceptance criteria has to do with the software that's being built for the particular purpose. The business rule is the entire business. This is the whole way in which they do business. It has nothing to do with the software. Although I'll show you later on how they connect. But this is just how business is done. For example, if I work for an insurance company, then we could say that this is how insurance companies actually handle claims and my dog just ran up the stairs sorry this is how the business insurance company handles claims like you have to submit your claim within a certain time period or you know you have to have this insurance coverage or um these people have to be driving the car or whatever like these are all the rules that govern how they handle claims those are business rules Another example is if you're in the bank and you're applying for a loan, maybe the bank says that every applicant has to meet this minimum threshold of credit score. So your credit score has to be at least 700 for you to get this loan. Maybe that bank will have many applicants. But anyway, <laughs> this could be just their business rule. This is how they do business. So the business rule is wider. It's more organizational wide, and it doesn't necessarily have to be bound by the software tool that the business is using. I hope that's clear too. So based on that explanation, I'm sure you already know the answer. Is the acceptance criteria the same as the business rule? No, <laughs> no, it's not. The business rule has to do with how the business operates. The acceptance criteria is a subset of that and how the software is gonna help support that business. Now, even though they're not the same, obviously, the acceptance criteria must be supporting the business rule. So you wouldn't write the software to, do do a loan for a person who is getting a credit score of six 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 sixty, 
and the business rule says it must be 700 or that wouldn't make any sense. So the acceptance criteria when you're writing your user stories is obviously going to take into consideration the business rules. And the business rules will probably drive what you write in your acceptance criteria. But there are things in your acceptance criteria that may not have anything to do with the business rules. For example, the screens that you design for how the user flows through the software or like in the other example I was giving the other day about exports. So the business rule might say that you have to, you have to send a disclosure letter to the mortgage applicant within three days of them making the, the inquiry. Well, you have to send a letter. The, the system might need to generate that letter, right? And it goes through some printing process, right? So you might have to put more details into the acceptance criteria to accomplish that business rule. So it's definitely not the same thing. And, um, the acceptance criteria tends to be more granular, more specific, more software driven, obviously, because it's, it's for developers to code from. Uh, and the business rule might just be general and, you know, all encompassing. Hope that was helpful. That's my talk today on the topic, which is the difference between business rules and acceptance criteria. If you need to find out more, I do have free courses on my website. Go check it out. And I hope to see you guys next time. Yes? You want to say hi? Hi, everyone. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now you took the, the car and everything. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Hey. Hey. I'm calling you out. Me. No, I didn't copy you at all. You did it. All right. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> bye, guys. See y'all later.